everyone welcome back to a new video in today's video i am going to be using my madame glam gel polishes i have got hibiscus hibiscus and the strip you can get 30 percent off these using my code natmug30 they're amazing i love madame glam gel polishes so much i'm also using my lady gonks my ladybird gonks from nail sugar you can get 10 percent off those using my code natmug10 did that come out quick that came out really quick and I felt like I didn't say it properly. You can use my code NATMUG10 to save 10% off anything at Nail Sugar. <laughs> anyway, it is Thursday, which means it's almost Friday, which means it's almost the weekend, which to me means absolutely nothing because I have children. <laughs> but there we go. Right. Um, the base colour of this nail is going to be hibiscus. Um, it's actually, we're actually, yeah. Um, and... Uh, uh, I cannot think. I've just my brain's gone. It's like my brain's on shutdown. Uh, we're doing a French, a French thingy, a French, French smile line. We're doing a smile line. <laughs> oh my goodness! I need to sort my life out. Right, we're doing a smile line using the strip. Um, so I've got in with my brush and I've done like the actual smile line bit, and then I just fill the rest in with the brush from the bottle because it's just a lot quicker. You can do it with, sometimes if I've got lots of excess gel polish on my palette that I want to use up, then I'll I'll use the my brush to fill it in with the gel polish that's on the palette. Um, if I haven't, then I'll just use the bottle brush because it's, yeah, it's just, just a lot quicker. Um, but if I use my detailer brush, it's because I want to save, I don't want to waste all that gel polish. <clears throat> right, so we've done our French. We've then done another nail with hibiscus as the base colour. And I'm going to take one of these medium-sized ladybird gonks. Um, I absolutely love these. I've had these for ages now and um, I haven't done anything with them. So today is the day. I'm cutting around the gong. I'm taking off a lot of that excess decal because we don't need that on there. Then I'm going to put it upside down on my stamper. And using like my just it's just an old cleanup brush that I use. I've got some water in the brush. I'm going to dab that on the back of the decal. If you just leave it for a few seconds, it will the decal will separate from the backing, and you can peel the backing off. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. There we go. And then you are ready to stamp your your decal. However, today I am going to take Riverwalk. This is a white gel polish from Madame Glam, and I'm just going to fill in. If if we were, if the if our base nail was white, I wouldn't do this. But um, the decals are quite translucent in places, um, and, or transparent. And I wanted to just can you see what can you see? It's just you'll see when I lay it down. But I've cured that gel polish on the back of the decal. Don't make it thick. Just wants to be a nice thin layer. And then you can stamp it onto the nail. And where you've got that white gel polish underneath, it's just going to really bring out the detail on that decal. Ready, stamp it on. Can you see? And now his beard's all nice and white, but he's got that nice, he's got that grey detail on as well. Or is it a she? No, it's a he. It's a gonk with a beard. It's a he. Right, there we go. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do uh, what looks like another smile. Like, ow, I'm stuck. Ouch, 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 my ankle. There we go. Oh, I'm back in the room. Oh, I'm stuck to my chair. <laughs> what is going on? Right, it looks like we're doing like a very extended smile line, but I'm not. I'm actually, what's the word? I'm doing like a border on the outside of our gonk. So we've got what looks like a tiny French tip. And then I'm going to, in a minute, here we are, look, I'm going to do the same thing from the top. And what's going to happen is the lady gonk, the ladybird gonk, is going to end up in a little oval in a little oval you know what I mean it's gonna have a border around it him border around him I'm gonna fill that in I fill that top bit in I'm gonna use the, the paint from the palette this time there we go and now we've got a border around our gonk so that's gonna go in the lamp for a 30 second cure by the way Madame Glam gel polishes need 30 seconds in an LED lamp if you're using the gel paints which we will be in a minute they actually need a 60 second cure so I'm just doing one more nail with hibiscus and one more nail with um, the strip. Um, I'm only going to do four nails. If you want to do five nails, I would just do a plain nail using hibiscus, I think, for this set. If you are a red fan, then do another red nail. Um, but 
it's up to you. Right, this is base coat. I've just put a tiny dollop on the palette. And then I've got Merry Cherry Glitter from Nail Sugar. This is a holographic multi, multi mix, multi different size mix. Chunky mix. You can see it's got chunky bits in it as well. Oh, it's so nice. It's like, it's just... I'm getting Christmassy vibes, even though it's a it's a gonk. This is I'm, I was hoping this was more autumny, autumnish. Even though I don't want to quite go into autumn yet, because I'm not going to do autumn nails until September. Um, I've decided. Um, I love seeing all these other nails, but personally on my channel, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna entertain autumn, even though it's very tempting until September. Oh. I love it, I can't wait. <laughs> right, I've put the base coat on the tacky layer of this nail, and then I'm only putting a little bit on in a tiny little area, and then on where I put the base coat, I'm gonna put a few of the glitter pieces. And then I'm gonna do that all the way down the nail, and then and I'll cure it. So I'm not gonna cover the nail in base coat, I'm just putting little dollops of base coat where I want the glitter. I think that made sense. Um, and then I'm going to use the velvet matte top coat on three of the nails. So the French nail, the gonk nail and the pink nail. They're going to have, they're going to be matte finished. And then the nail with the glitter on, we're going to swap over to our no wipe top coat, the glossy one, this one. Um, we're going to do that shiny because it's got the, the glitter and the glitter is hollow. And if we matte top coated that, it would lose its hollow and it would be pointless putting it on. So they're going to go with a lamp for 30 seconds. Right, this one was a little bit rough. Um, I'm out of shot, but I'm going to buff it. I did slightly over buff it. I don't think it's that noticeable, but on some of the glitter at the top, I'd managed to buff off a little bit of the colour. But you can't see. Pretend you didn't see. No one's going to know, okay? Right, then I've got some gel paints. I absolutely love Madame Glam gel paints. Um, I think I love them even more because you can work with them on top of a top coated nail. So like if you've if you've done a design and then you've top coated it and you're like, oh no, hang on, I think I could do something a bit more on that. Then you can go ahead and use Madame Glam's gel paints because they're going to cure without a tacky layer. Um, so you can, yeah, so it will just, yeah, you can just work on a finish now. And also, I really like these because they cure shiny. Um, I love the contrast between the matte finish nail and the shiny design on the top. I love that. I like it a lot. Yeah, just saying. So with the red, I am making some really easy, simple, curved petal shapes for the flowers. These ones I put little dollops on so that I could kind of work out roughly where I wanted the petals. Sometimes I get the petals on perfectly and other times they're slightly misaligned. Is that the right word? They're, you know, they're not quite where I want them. I think with me it's just a bit of fluke really. <laughs> Most of the time I wing things. Um, I think I've got so good at winging it now. Things just kind of just work. <laughs> Thank the Lord. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd look a bit silly, wouldn't I? Um, this with the white gel paint, I'm doing the same thing, but I'm making these petals. Um, they've got pointy ends, whereas the other petals only had the point going towards the middle. These ones are going to have a point in the middle and a point on the outside. <coughs> and then I'll go to okay, go, 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 <sighs> I'll try again, and then I'm going to do the same over this side. So. Yeah. I really like doing these kind of flowery, florally design. I don't know, I think they look really nice. I find them quite easy to do. Um, and I, I really enjoy them. Little dollops in the middle there. Using a different color. You can use black if you want, because we're gonna use black as well on this set. Um, so with the black, we're just going to make some like foliage, foliage, leaves. We're going to put some leaves on. Um, I love doing these. These, This is one of my favouritest things to do on nail designs. Um, these little, I can't remember what they're called. I'm sure people have told me many times in my comments what they're called. Um, this kind of leafy look. 
um, I can't remember. But I really like doing these leaves. They're so easy and they always look really nice. So we're going to do these in the black. And then I'm also... I like to give them a little flick at the end. A little flick at the end of the... Flick there, you see? Flick. You don't have to do that. <laughs> I just like to do it. I'm going to do a little bit here as well. This one is kind of, oh, it's going to come off the nail slightly, so there we go. And then we'll probably do a little bit sticking on here. There we go. And then we'll do a little bit at the top as well, just so that it kind of evens it all out a little bit, because there's no black at the top. Again, just a little, just coming onto the nail ever so slightly here. And I'm not going to go all the way down to that. Look at it. Bless you! And a little bit this side. Uh, I've just knocked my stand and my phone's gone wobble wobble. Uh, we will come back to this nail, but for now, I'm going to give that a 60 second cure. It looks nice already, but... <clears throat> we're just going to add something else to it in a little bit i'll show you in a bit right this nail i wanted to incorporate the flowers into another nail on this set so on the french nail here i'm just going to add because we've done the red tip i thought we'd do like half of a white flower just coming out of the smile line here There we go, I'm going to leave it like that. That's going to have a cure. And then I started to... Right, ignore the dots. I'm going to wipe the dots off. I haven't actually cured them yet. Um, but for this now, you know how a ladybird has... Um, you know the, the shell opens up and it can fly? Well, we're kind of going to do... The, the, tip, the, the tip bit here, the free edge of this bit, is going to kind of be the back of a ladybird's... Or a ladybug... Do you say, let me know in the comments, do you say ladybird or ladybug? Um, it's going to be the back of the ladybird's shell. So I'm just going to go around the smile line with the black. I cut a little bit out there because I, yeah, it was just a little bit of a clean up jobby. So I'll just cut it out because it was going to age otherwise. Then down the center, no, right, I've taken the dots off. Down the center, so that would be the middle. You see what I'm, Do you see what I mean? That would be the middle of the ladybird's shell. Is it a shell? Would you call it a shell? It's not, not like a turtle shell, but like a, you know. And then I'm just going to put three dots. And I put too much black on because the black wrinkled. But that's what I struggle with. With this gel paint, the Madame Glam Black Gel Paint, I always, when I'm doing dots, I always end up putting them on too thick um, and they wrinkle. So do bear that in mind when you're using Madame Glam's Black Gel Paint. It is very, very pigmented. Um, I always seem to, I don't know, just seem to, oh yeah, I put a little dot in the, where that, the petals meet in that flower and then stick it into the lamp to cure for 60 seconds. Um, see, back to this one, I'm just adding some little dots. So I thought we'd go with white and then I do add some red ones, uh, depending on what colours you go between. Um, like for instance, those white dots are between red and black at the top and then I'm going to take the red and I'm going to put some red in here because we're between a white and a black. Do you see what I mean? The, yeah. And then I, I, I also added some over here, even though we're in between. I probably should have put some black here, but I couldn't be bothered to get the black out because it it wrinkles on me. <laughs> so there we go. That's going to go in the lamp now. I've just put a border around the gonk using the white gel paint i just felt like it needed something else and that was it so this is the finished set i hope you like them if you did please leave me a like if you haven't already do consider subscribing it is completely free i'm going to leave madam glam's website and nail sugar's website links down below with the discount codes um yeah thanks for watching god bless and i'll see you all lot in the next one love you bye